the role of psychological factors in worsening post-polio symptoms, being caused by post-polio symptoms, can sometimes be as limiting for an individual as their neuromuscular problem. If you recovered well, did aggressive you know, treatments when you were a kid, had your surgeries, you know, got back on your own two feet, you know, with your parents kind of pushing you from behind, you felt you were cured. So to have something come on now at the peak of your adult life, you know, you're working, you have a family, you have responsibilities, can itself cause depression. People can become very discouraged. When you get depressed, your sleep isn't as good, your energy levels are low, you don't eat properly, you gain weight because you're eating too much, you lose weight because you're not eating at all. These things can add to the symptoms of post-polio. It becomes a vicious cycle. So certainly the education of polio survivors, what to look out for, what they can do that will help them, can help calm down anxiety and depression and, and reverse that cycle. If somebody is truly having severe depression, it may well have to be treated. Um, and, and we need to, you know, to look at that. If they're under so much stress that they can't modify their lifestyle, that, that has to be addressed because they will never be able to get through onto a plateau or recovery you know, without dealing with those issues. So certainly, post-polio itself can lead to these emotional and stressful situations, and then they can make the problem worse. So we have to break that cycle. Thank you.